Okay everyone, welcome to Successful Times. I have a very interesting person. This is uh, Verena Lipscomb. Say hello Verena. Hello, how are you? Verena has a very um, uh, interesting story. She's successful in uh, three very uh, important parts of her life. Uh, number one, she's raised eight wonderful kids and homeschooled them all, people. She's homeschooled them all. And then <clears throat> during that time, she uh, obviously, if you're taking care of eight kids, you, you, you're, you're not taking care of yourself all the time, you know. And so she gained some weight she didn't like. And now just recently, since October, I believe, she decided, okay, Here's my time. I'm going for it. I'm making my move. I'm going to look great. I'm going to look sexy. I'm getting in the back in this bikini. And so she started to lose weight and get the figure. She's getting the figure that she wants to have. And also she's a, a successful um, lifestyle wellness coach. So if you want to do what she's done, she's going to provide the tools and, 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 and the way forward. So, um, Verena, if you would, um, tell us about your story, about your your um your kids if you would if you'd be so kind and, and the and the homeschooling i'm really interested in, in that homeschooling uh, part of your story okay all right uh i've been homeschooling for 28 years i have eight children uh, my oldest right now is 29 five of them have graduated successfully uh some of them have college degrees some are in college and um got a couple of them are in military when it's getting ready to leave in May. Um, let's see. Um, wow, in, in, the mili in the military. That's, uh, yeah. wow. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Scary, but uh, serving their country. And, and I'm sorry, tell the, tell the viewers where you're from. I'm from Virginia, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Fantastic. Okay. Originally from, uh, I was born and raised in Alexandria. Alexandria. After Alexander the Great? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, tell us more about your um, your weight loss journey. Okay, I started October thirteenth of twenty seventeen, and um, I weighed myself as of Wednesday. I've lost forty pounds and a half, and I'm going for a certain look. But um, yeah, I've lost a lot of weight. That's I've been on the keto, keto 90 plan, it's what they call it, and it's different from many other plans I've ever been on. I've been on uh, the keto diet before, but this one's really different. Um, it's all food-based, it's no oils. Um, most other ketos use oils and stuff, and we don't use the oils. And we also use supplements, and um, I have a lot more energy than what I normally do. Awesome. So, um, I hear on your on your keto pant plan you're going full spectrum, like ninety plus uh, nutrients, just overloading, filling the tank. So everything your body needs, every vitamin, every mineral, every amino acid is there. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Yes. Uh, I live in. Um, Paris, France, and the French have been putting wood ashes into their into their ground for tens of thousands of years, and so uh, I believe you know you know the the French don't work out and they don't diet, and I believe part of their secret is also because they have a full spectrum nutrition sort of uh, history. I think that's really important for people that are dieting. How's um how, and so your energy level is good. You 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 feel yeah. strong. You feel vibrant. Yeah. You feel sexy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Definitely. Awesome. Fantastic. So, so tell us about um, um, how close are you to your to your bikini looking goal? How how, how close? Uh, oh, uh, the first ninety days, I already made it into the bikini. Um, I'm going for a different kind of a look, so I want to look better than I the the first time. Uh, the next. Uh, 90. I'm on number 71 today of the second round of the 90 challenge. So, so I've got another 20 days 
to make it to the second goal of the second bikini look. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. So are you having, it sounds like you're, you're, you're enjoying this. Is it, you're getting a feeling of accomplishment? You're, you're, you're getting a feeling of like, um, you know, is because they say success is addic addicting. Like, you know, you eat and you get full, you don't want to eat no more, they say. But success sort of breeds more success. Do you, are you getting that sensation? Definitely, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So the better you look, the better you want to look. The more you want to look yes. better. Yeah, well, I'm also in another challenge at my gym to win a vacation to Hawaii, so that's that's putting me over the top. <laughs> sure, absolutely. Okay, um, so great. So now tell us about, I'm overweight, I'm miserable, I, I have no energy, I, ha I have no hope. Verena. Can you help me? What would you do to change my life around so I could feel successful and vibrant and, and awesome? Uh, first of all, have you fill out a form and have you visit your doctor? Uh, that's what I would normally do with all my clients uh, to make sure that the um, doctor says, okay, you're okay. And um, we would start you off with what I call the functional training. Find out if you're a beginner, if you're intermediate, or advanced even. And um, we would also put you on uh, what I call supplementation for uh, all the vitamins and minerals that you need. What we call the Mighty 90. <laughs> Mighty 90, I like that. Yes. <laughs> And we would work on the areas that you want to work on. So some people want to work on certain things. So I would definitely start with functional training with everybody because we all need to be able to function in life, whether it's lifting groceries or moving furniture or um, just normal functioning in this, this life. So if I'm a carpenter, you can you can say, okay, we're going to we're going to make things so you know you've got more energy you've got more physicality in your body if i'm you know uh have some other job or work a lot with my hands or whatever it is you you're going to focus on the things that uh where i need where i need help yes yes awesome uh -huh. okay and so now we've yeah. come to the fa my favorite part of the um program in which I ask Bernard Peebles 10 questions. So are you ready? Yeah, sure. Okay. I will. Question number one. What is your favorite word? What is my favorite word? Yes. What is your favorite <laughs> word? Well, probably. <laughs> well, I would say that's one of my favorite words as well. It's what? Say it again. Wow. 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 Like that. Yeah. It's funny yeah. because the French never say wow. So when I say wow, they always make fun of me. Like, wow, you wow. Who's the Americans? It's wow. So wow. Okay, that's great. What is your least favorite word? I can't. I hate, I hate that word. Hate or I can't. Okay. It's not in my vocabulary. Never. Never say it. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Hate or I or can't is not in your vocabulary. Okay. Don't like it. <laughs> what turns you on, creative, spiritually, or emotionally? What turns me on? Uh, when challenged. When somebody says I can't do something. <laughs> There's that word can't again. So even if somebody yeah. else says it. It gets you charged yeah. up creatively, yes, spiritually, and emotionally. Yes. Cool. Anything that everybody says that can't be done, I always say, oh, let's see if we can do that. Yes. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. What What turns you off? Turns me off? Uh, negativity. You're a very positive Neg person. Okay. Yeah. So negativity turns you off. Um yeah. What is your favorite curse word? <laughs> These aren't my questions. 
my favorite curse word. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Absolutely. Nice, nice one. Nice curse word to have. You know, at, at any part of the day. Okay. What, what's what sound or noise do you love? Song. What what sound or noise do you love? Um. I guess when somebody goes, hmm, yeah, yum, yeah, it's like a hmm. Hmm, yeah. you can't do that, eh? Hmm. Okay, uh, what sound or noise do you hate? I hate uh, grumbling. <laughs> <laughs> um, what profession, other than you, oh, other than your own, would you like to attempt? Um, say that one more time. What profession, other than your own, would you like to attempt? Oh, I'm open to everything. Open to um, everything, really. Yes, I am. Uh, what profession? Um, anything that would be adventurous for me. <laughs> I like adventure. <laughs> you like you like adventure. Yes, probably uh, as a child because my my family was involved in government, and I had a chance to be in that, and I turned it down twice. Uh, Secret agent, what they would consider a secret agent. How's that? <laughs> wow, that's a great answer. So James Bond, <laughs> fantastic. Okay, um, what profession would you not like to attempt? What profession would you not like to do? Um, probably anything to do with uh, blood. That's, I, I'm bad with that. Um, surgeon. <laughs> Anything having to do with blood? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Anywhere cutting, cutting up. Yeah. It's just violence is just. It's really odd. Yeah. If I had to, I think I could. <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, they did give me a blood test, and I would faint. I hated that. I hated seeing blood running into that thing. Anyways. Okay. So last question. If heaven exists. What would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? That he loved me. Um, give me a big hug say, yeah. <laughs> You're really here. What took you so long? <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> God is like, Verena! Like a, like a big Italian grandma. Verena, so good to see you. Fantastic. All right, well... Verena, it's been a pleasure, an absolute uh, uh, pleasure speaking with you. So we're here at the goodbye shot. Wave bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you, Verena. It's been a blast. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.